In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Tone Photos, a very powerful software that uses cutting edge technology to help you organize your photos. You can mark your faces, search by location or event, or create stunning personalized albums, all in one place. We all take tons of pictures these days, capturing moments with friends, family, and travels. Over time, these collections can grow massively, making it hard to find a specific photo you are looking for. Imagine being able to instantly search for pictures of your loved ones by event or by location or by album directly within seconds. So this software is a modern alternative to Picasa with main focus on facial recognition. So if your photos have been recognized by Picasa before, Tone Photos will continue from there. So in this video, you will learn everything to start using Tone Photos to organize your millions of photos for ease of access to post on social media, to make a slideshow for printed gifts. So without taking much far time, let's get started. All right, so to start with, you can just open up your browser and just come to google.com. I brought into this very platform and then you can just go ahead and search for Tone Photos. Okay, just like that. Brought in here, Tone Photos, the best photo management software an indispensable application for organizing family photo archives. It simplifies browsing of large photo collections by grouping them according to event, dates, and location as well. So you can click on this first one, all right? So you can go ahead and download Tone Photos, the application on your desktop. So you can download from here or from here directly. So let's go ahead and click to download from here. All right, so over here, you have the option to download Tone Photos for all of this operating system for Windows. We have for Windows 8, 10, and 11. For Mac operating system, we have for Intel and ARM. And then we have the Linux operating system. For this tutorial, I'm going to go with our Windows 11 64-bit operating system. So I'm just going to click on this to go ahead and download. So once you finish the download, you can be able to see it over here. You can just go ahead and click to install. Because we're installing the free version of Tone Photos, you can go ahead and select all of these three, accept all of them, and start the free trial. Now, at this point, you have to define the location where you're going to keep your photos. You can select on any and you can have this option to recognize faces, scan um, video files and scan raw files and you can remove a particular location or add a location if you're interested. Now at this moment, I'll keep this to default and I can just go ahead and say done. And right now you can choose which of the theme that you want. We can go with dark or we can go with light. Let me go with light at this moment. It is now gathering the images. You can see the the, pro the progress over here. It is capturing all the images in the system. Uh, it is capturing all the images that are specified in those two locations and is grouping them over here under these folders. Let's just give it some seconds to finish up with the image upload and then we can continue. Okay, so right now it is done and it has imported all the images that we have in the system. You can see it down here, it is ready to start. So the first thing is you need to notice that it has imported all the images and we can categorize our images according to all of these. This is the folder containing all the images. These are events. We can describe them, the images, we can categorize them according to events. If you know a specific event, uh, these are locations, you can categorize them also according to location where you took them. And there are albums, you can check out the albums that you may have, okay? It may be categorized according to the albums that you have. And then we have people. This is where you add the people into your library. You can add different kind of people, be it random, be it uh, be specific. You can add as many details as you can to any of the photos that you have. So it becomes very easy to search for a particular person. Once you search for that person, it will quickly take you to that person. And then all the images that you have or all the photos that you have that contain that same person will be uh, showcased as well. So here I will show you how to add in a person and then how to add the name of a person and his details and then we can proceed to how to uh, use the software proper. So from the folder option over here, you have the option to select on any of the images that you have here. So let's go ahead and select any of them. For example, this one. And you have the option, you can search for any image from here directly from the search bar. And you have the option to to toggle the info panel, which is very, very crucial. And you have the option also to favorite a particular image, or you can start a slideshow directly from here. Okay, so you can always click here to get back. So while still selecting this image, you can toggle the file info, you can click, and you can as well click out 
to be able to see in addition to all of these features that you see you have the dates created date modified you can even have the directory where it is located in your system then these are all recognized faces that's why you see them with the red question mark sign these are unidentified faces so to be able to see clearly which of the images we are dealing with over here we can always come back and click on the eye sign so we can double click on the image to open it fully and then we can come back and click on the eye sign again to be able to have access to the same information panel so as you hover over any of the picture you'll be able to see the sign over here of that particular image okay so you can see um this is the person this is the person we are referring to directly you can do that as well manually as you move on so now to add in people which is the most important part you can just click to add people for example i can uh, click on this guy and right click when you right click on a particular person somewhere close to his face uh, around his face you can see that this is a new person you can add that this is a new person for example i can say this is joseph okay so this is joseph and once i click out it's going to bring me other suggestions of joseph just to confirm from all the millions of photos that you have it's going to quickly scan and give you other images of joseph now it's now left for you to now confirm if this is joseph or not these are just suggestions um, by the by the software mind you everything is done not with an ai but locally within your system so if you confirm that this is joseph you can just go ahead and click on this that this is joseph and now becomes okay this is joseph as well it now becomes okay or you can do um, you can multiple select with by holding down the shift key and you can say this is joseph as well and you can just go ahead and and, and and proceed okay this is joseph as well now if this is not joseph and you don't want to see these images as a suggestion you can always click on this and if you don't want to see this um this face again because you don't know you don't know him as a suggestion you can also click on this to disable that okay so over here we can I'll accept that this is Joseph as well. So you can always come back to the folders. Now we've added some people, which is Joseph. We've just added Joseph. Come back to the folders and we can still hit on the same image. Okay, so right now we can see we've added Joseph. Joseph is now known to us. And you can see from the image, that red question mark is gone on Joseph. So you can select on any of them and keep adding like this one. I can right click and say probably this is so this is new person. I can just add and call her Charity. For example, this is Charity. And once I click out, you can see suggestions of other images containing Charity within my system. So you can select and confirm just like we've done before. So you can click on the first one. You can hold down the shift key and click on the last one. And on your own, you can right click and say confirm Charity. You can confirm that all of these images are Charity. And with just one click, you've now identified Charity throughout your picture so everything is now identified when you looked here now we don't have the question mark on charity as well so you have two people indicated within the system i would mind you anywhere you see this exclamation mark on a particular person that you've identified it means there are other variations that you need to confirm whether it's that person or not so this is joseph and we don't have any more variations we've identified him and this charity because we have this which means we have another variation to confirm is this charity no it's not so you can just click out she's not the one for example okay so let's go back to the folders still the same photo and let's say this lady is okay so this is a new person let's say this is carol okay this is carol and you can see all the variations of her so you can just go ahead and and click out and you can see suggestions like we said you can see the uh, exclamation mark you can just select and hold down the shift key and come to the last one and say this is carol so you can right click and say this is carol confirm this confirm carol so you can just click and you can see everything is now confirmed as carol so what this means is at any given point if i decide to i want to see all the pictures that uh, that are related to joseph i can just come over and click on joseph's name and i can be able to see all his photos so once i click here it's not that I'm going to see all the images in the background. I will just be able to scroll through Joseph. Okay, all the images that uh, Joseph is contained within my system. And I can be easily able to connect or to copy and share with Joseph on any of his birthday or anything that happens with, with him. Okay, so let's click back and go back to the main photos. 
So another cool feature that I like with this uh, tone photos is that on the photo section, you have this toggle show face and full photos. If you select on any candidate or any person, for example, charity, we have the option to click on this uh, show face full photo and it's going to show us all the faces where charity is contained. And when we toggle this, it's going to show us all the photos that charity is contained within my system. So you can see all the faces of charity in all the pictures. And then this is all the photos contained that contain charity within my system. Now you can always click on this. If you want to directly go to a specific page, you can just click and it will just show you, take you to that particular page where that picture is contained. So from a particular image, uh, also if you right click, you can have very many options. For example, you can toggle the view with enter key. You can select all the images with the selection or command A or control A within your, your system. Or you can have the option to show the faces if you want to show faces containing uh, charity. And then you can add to favorite. You can just go ahead and add to favorite like we've shown before. You can select a particular image and add it to your favorite. Or whenever you come to albums, you'll be able to see your favorite and you can be able to see how many images you've added in your list of favorites. You can be able to see them over here. So let's go back to the same people and we can select on any of the images. You can right click. You have the option to remove favorite and you can add a particular image to a specific album. If you want to move it to an album or add it to an album or you want to add a tag that you can easily recognize, for example, your trip to Singapore, you can just click to add a tag and you can call this Singapore and you can hit on enter. So now any uh, this picture is now assigned to your pictures in Singapore. So for example, when you go back to the same folder, you can select on this and you can, you can select this image, right click and you can say add to the same tag, which is Singapore. Okay, you can select on this also and say add to Singapore. So when you go back to albums, you come to Singapore, you'll be able to see all the images that you snapped in Singapore. So very easily with tags, you can easily uh, navigate around. Now you can also go back to the same people and with the particular image, you can right click and you can go to, you can rotate clock and anti-clockwise. If you want to go to a particular event where this image is was snapped, you can easily go to event directly and it will take you, this is a body, birthday party of Joseph that took place on this date, okay? So this is possible when you name your folders accordingly, according to the event that took place, okay? So you can easily navigate and go to that event and you can carry out all the searches that you're interested. Another cool thing that you can do is, for example, within these same pictures, okay, I may want to ignore all of these because I'm not interested in their faces or because I don't know them. So I can just select and right click over here and say ignore this face suggestion if you want to ignore only this face or if you want to ignore all assigned faces, you can just do that or you can do that with control I on the system, on the keyboard you can say ignore all uh, on assigned faces and you can see with just one click it has ignored all the unassigned faces as if they don't exist in the picture if you want to assign all of them all you need is just to hover over them uh, hover over their faces like for example this one add new face to this location so you can just add to this location and you can see it has added this particular face to the location and if you want to add this one as well so right click add this face to this location with just some seconds it is going to add this face again to the location. Now you are free to now double click to give them the name. Okay, you can just say this is Abdul or Rashid, for example. This is Abdul Rashid. So you can click. So you can see right now we have Abdul Rashid. And as you hover over all of them, you are able to see how you can add and remove faces easily. So you can always click to come back. And still while right clicking, you have the option to export the image um, to open with this and you can export the image or copy the files to somewhere or show in explorer you can show where specifically this file is contained and you can um, ignore all unassigned faces also from here you can do that uh, against this particular image now one last thing that you should know is that um, the view of the folder the images in the folder can be controlled from here from the smaller view to 
a bigger view, you can always extend to make it bigger for ease of recognition of your images. All right, so this concludes this tutorial about how to use ton photos for complete beginners to be able to to be able to define faces within our photos and then to navigate across different events, different location, different uh, different albums and different folders to be able to find our images easily within our system. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.